Hello and welcome back, my beautiful Froggy Army, to another video. We are back at it on the good old Animal Crossing Storybrooke Farm Core Island. And today, I am going to be completing probably my last and final outdoor build on this island. Yes, it is true. We have filled up the majority of space here on this island. And if you caught my last video, then you would have remembered me kind of like showing you around. I'm so sorry, my Joy-Con is drifting. But if you caught my last Animal Crossing build video, you would have remembered me showing you this whole area that is kind of empty and just primed and ready for some sort of build. Goose is working out in the animal competition that's okay sure all right then so my first idea for this area was just to make a big field and have like a bunch of cute little animals like grazing in the field and all of that fun stuff and we are going to be doing something kind of similar but also different it still is going to involve like way too many wheat fields but one of you guys suggested that i make a little corn maze to match the county fair that's right here next to it so i think we're going to be doing that i don't know if it's going to fill up this whole area so we're gonna try to do that today i'm very excited i got a bunch of wheat fields i was time traveling a whole bunch but we will most likely need more i did download a new custom design i got these corn stalks so we could potentially use those i also saw a lot of people use the straw fence which i do have with me as well but i don't know if i want to use this you know like this isn't really like very corn this is more like wheat so i don't know what the plan is really we're just gonna get to it and I guess I gotta start by clearing out all of these flowers, so I will go ahead and do that super quick. So that's all finished, and I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this terraforming here and build everything up on the little cliff, or if I want to tear all this down and just have it all be flat. I'm really leaning towards leaving it all up because I... I really don't have that much terraforming up on this like back corner. Eating the apples, eating the apples, destroying the rocks, destroying the rocks, destroying the rocks. Mm -mm -mm. The last thing that remains is this a waterscaping and also these trees. I think let's work on the waterscaping first. Waterscaping, 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 escaping reality. In Animal Crossing by waterscaping. We can make ponds and rivers, waterscaping, waterscaping, escaping reality and animal crossing. Oh my goodness, we have loans with no interest, waterscaping, waterscaping, escaping reality and animal crossing. But I've got to do some roundabout terraforming here. We have got to get into this corner that I did not end up filling in for some reason. Let's get to work on this. Just fill this entire little square in. After some terraforming, I did manage to add like some extra length here and there. I also feel like I don't have nearly enough wheat fields, so that's gonna be great. I am gonna get this tree out of the way because this is just smack dab in the middle of everything. I'll leave this one here for now. That seems like an okay spot. So how I'm gonna try to do this is I'm gonna take this little like corn stalk custom design and I'm gonna start putting this down and we're literally gonna make the path like we're gonna make the, the whole maze first using these custom designs right and then after that I'll go in and like put the wheat fields on the side if I end up using the straw fencing I'll put that on the side and we'll do some trees here and there so it doesn't look super flat and naky again I don't know how to make a maze how the heck do you do that I don't know I mean I could just make a bunch of paths and like connect them but I don't think I'm gonna have this corn maze go all the way to the left I think I'm gonna just do some simple decorations kind of like here and here with the tree so We'll kind of end the maze in this area. Oh my goodness, I just forgot to record all of that. No, it's okay. It was mainly just me placing these down in silence. So honestly, you didn't miss much. This is what I've got so far. It all is like connected, but I'm not going to make it all connected if that makes sense. Like I'm going to put some items here and there to like be obstacles so that you can't go a certain way. Like you have to go 
this way or that way or whatever. And then I can't decide where I want like the actual end to be. Like how do you win this maze? What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna place down all the wheat fields. I don't know, do I wanna put this custom design underneath all of them? I mean, I guess I could put the design under. This is gonna be a pain though. But then at the same time, if I use wheat fields, then it's so easy just to go past it, you know? Like we gotta have some barriers. Maybe I will use the straw fencing as much as I like don't really like it that much. I have no clue, but we try. We make attempts, I guess. Okay, there we go. See, that's looking good. That's looking nice. And then I'll continue putting down this custom design stuff. I think I'm gonna do like a stall literally right here and it'll have some prizes on it like maybe some sort of like little wrapped gift or something like that so i'm just gonna put this custom design down right here just to remind myself that i'm gonna put a stall right there and then we'll do some straw fencing we can probably get away with a wheat field right here and then one right here as well if you're doing the corn maze i want everybody doing it to be forced to go to this path so they're gonna think that they can just go straight up. So for now, I will put a scarecrow, but okay, let's continue on with this whole shebang. This is this is coming along, this is coming along. Honestly, this is much better than I thought. Oh wait, you can just go around this, hold on. We have to fix that. I think we can just pick up one of these wheat fields, put a straw fence, and then we can also put the scarecrow like literally right next to it so you can't yeah you can't get through and then we'll do the the straw fence on this side as well okay okay let's work on that side then i'm just gonna put these underneath okay so we put the piece right there and then we can just put wheat fields on the top and on the bottom there we go so yeah now you can't go past this little section and then same here i want there to be some item here that blocks you from going up okay this is what i came up with it's literally the same as this side so yeah the scarecrow will be kind of like here there will be an item here yeah we just gotta finish up the rest of this and i'm gonna need so many more wheat fields i am almost out once again, I was not recording. And yes, I did get stung. I don't want to talk about it. I have made some progress. Here's how we're looking. I pretty much worked on this section as well. And we've got a little frog model blocking this path. I put this butterfly model here instead of the shovel that was here. And then you got to kind of sidestep to get here. And we worked on this section. Yeah, I just did more more of the same stuff you've been seeing, so I guess you didn't miss that much. But yeah, I need to go get more wheat fields. I'm totally out, so I'm going to do a little bit of that. I also put this little step up ladder, and we got to fix up this section as well, because this does not look very inviting. This does not look like an entrance. Okay, I am back with more wheat fields, so let's continue here i got rid of my little bee sting thankfully that was so embarrassing my drift is really getting worse and worse it's honestly making this like 10 times harder than it should be because my character doesn't want to turn and face the way she's supposed to face so it makes it like a whole mission of like trying to find the way that i'm trying to face and correcting my little character and everything like that no <laughs> example a example a we're kind of missing out on some trees so i'm gonna put one right here i feel like i ordered so many wheat fields and i'm like already running out what the heck we just gotta power through we gotta power through please i just want to finish this build okay i think we're just about wrapping up with the actual like maze section i honestly took this way further down than i thought i was going to back here i am gonna put a little veggie basket item just to block that off and yeah i think this is coming together i just have to work on this part up here i have gathered this little covered counter to be our like little prize area and i have a little gyroid who is going to man the little station so there he is and i'm going to put the prize on the other side which i have not got yet i will need to time travel for that since i found some more wheat fields in my storage then i can happily happily place some more wheat fields on the side over here which is great that is exactly what i was hoping to do yes perfect okay i guess we will be placing a covered wagon on the side and then since i do have extra wheat fields i will put a few back here there we go perfect and then i decided that i was going to work on the like little entrance portion here in silence so hey what's up voiceover raven here i am a little bit stuffy so i hope you don't mind that but truly i don't have a lot to talk about for this section portion i just cleaned everything up got rid of all these flowers and literally placed down like a little tiny 
patch of pathing and put like two or three items so anyways today i went to wawa for lunch and if you haven't tried like the wawa hot food you gotta try it it's so good it's so delicious i got a sandwich i got some avocado on it they got these like recharger thingies i got like a strawberry lemonade it's got caffeine in it and i also put mango popping boba in it they have freaking mango popping boba and that's the only flavor that they have that's like the only boba that they have and it's like one of my favorite ones i like mango and i like strawberry so this is your sign to go to wawa and get some boba because apparently wawa has boba now so yeah anyways i truly can't believe that this is like the last outdoor build on this island like don't worry there's still gonna be more storybook videos coming out i still have to do all of my villager houses and my house and we're gonna do like a final tour and then i also have another video planned that one of you guys suggested that i should do which is like comparing the final build and final map of storybook compared to like my little map that i had made for it like my little sketch design thing like before i even started working on it um that was forever ago so just to compare and contrast and see like what i actually ended up doing and stuff so yeah it's it's almost done almost but never fear there's still a few more videos that we gotta get through anyways back to it and yeah we are all finished so we climb up and you got your maze you know if you visit my dream address you already know how to solve this because i just spoiled it but whatever you this is this is how you get through okay you just basically go up here i still need to work on that little section too right there i'm too lazy to do it right now but then you go all the way up here you go you go you keep walking you walk so much and then we come up here i will be placing the prize here but i want it to be a surprise so that way you are still forced to complete the maze if you ever visit my dream address so yeah that is pretty much how this turned out i'm really happy with it i feel like it came out so much more interesting than i thought i feel like i don't know i was scared this was gonna be really boring but i think it's really cute to look at and very interesting like i said so yeah i'm very happy with it that is going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel on your way out i very much appreciate it thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one